Okay guys, remember the something, something, something in different Battlefield games videos? Well, I thought I was running out of ideas, but I thought of another one. We're gonna play with the oldest available weapons in Battlefield, all the way up to the newest, most modern weapons. Obviously, we're gonna start with Battlefield 1 because this is the uh, oldest setting in terms of the war. Battlefield 1 is World War 1, obviously. And I did a little bit of digging and apparently there are five guns in this game that can be considered the very oldest. In terms of the primary, the Martini Henry is by far the oldest. I think this one was developed in 1870. So still in the 19th century, which is pretty wild to think about. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Enemy hit 100, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. This is the Martini Henry, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said, the Martini Henry is the oldest primary weapon in Battlefield 1. The number 3 revolver is the joint oldest uh, handgun in Battlefield 1. You also have the Howder pistol. The Gasser revolver was also developed in 1870 or designed in 1870. Now, let's try to get some one-shot kills with this Martini Henry. There's a guy right there. Why didn't he die? Another one shot head, should kill apparently. Oh, now I'm dead. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming through here. I told you. Nope, nope, nope. So, as we progress to the video, we're gonna upgrade our weapons in terms of. Holy. Finish him off, guys, come on. What I wanted to say is that as we progress through the video, we're gonna upgrade our weapons in terms of how modern they are. So like I said, we're gonna start with the oldest one, and then we're gonna upgrade. You already know which game has the most modern futuristic weapon. But that's for later. After this, we're gonna go to Battlefield 5, because after World War One comes World War Two. that's right. Woo, baby! That's, oh, whoa, that's a big explosion. You know what? Coming to think of it, the Maxim machine gun is the oldest machine gun in the world, right? So it's only fitting that we use this gun right now. This is the Maxim gun, right? Maxim machine gun. Oh wow, I forgot the disgusting aim assist on this thing. Can't aim for crab with this thing. There we go, we got another kill. Oh, we got another kill. I think this is the most kills I've gotten with this machine gun. It says heavy machine gun, but... It's the Maxim machine gun, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Now, like I said, we're gonna upgrade our weapons from old to new. And the newest or most modern weapons in Battlefield 1 are actually the 1919 SMG and the M1911A1. I looked up on Google and the M1911A1 was designed in 1924, which is basically a modified upgraded version of the regular M1911. And this one, the SMG 1919, is basically the predecessor of the Thompson, I believe. Which is funny because 1919 is after World War I, which is obviously where Battlefield 1, World War I takes place. So this is actually already after the war. Which I think is actually pretty cool. Are we getting a bunch of kills with the M1919 SMG? Maybe we can kill the stupid horse? No, he's already dead. Come on, kill the horse! There we go, horse kill. That's what I like to do. Let's see if we can get this guy. Assist counter skill. You gotta be freaking joking. Maybe this guy. Whoa, that fire works. Oh my goodness! Technically, swords are even older than guns. So, let's see if we can take him out with this saber. Ah, that's a roadkill. Oh, I got him! With the cavalry sword, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna stay behind this box right here until my health gets back up. Anyway, I wanted to say I got a kill with the oldest gun in the game, with the newest guns in the game, and with the oldest weapon in the game, basically a sword. So, it doesn't get much better than that. We're gonna go to World War II, Battlefield 5. Like I said, we're going from World War I to World War II. And I did a little bit of digging. Obviously, still a lot of World War I weapons were used in World War II. The oldest one, actually, from what I've seen in Battlefield 5, 
is the Craig Yorks, and apparently this is the oldest primary weapon in Battlefield 5. It was designed in 1886, and for the secondary we have the Mark VI Rebley Revolver. This was designed in... I'm doing my intro, you bastard. Like I said, for the secondary we have the Mark VI Rebley Revolver, because this one was designed in 1887. Is that an enemy? Is that an enemy right there? Enemy spotted. I don't get it. Yeah, it was an enemy. Come on. There we go. Back to back. Okay, a couple more kills with the Craig Yorkson, and then we're gonna switch to the most modern weapon of Battlefield 5. Get the hell out of here. We are getting bombarded with them everywhere. Holy crap, these guys are literally just pushing like crazy. Look how much we're gonna lose. 45 versus 400. Okay, so we got the oldest guns from Battlefield 5 out of the way. The Craig Yorkson and the Webley Mark VI Revolver. And now we go to the most modern weapons available. And apparently, and I looked at all the weapons available in this game, the Mass 44 and the railroad pistol are the most modern weapons in this game, funny enough. The Mass 44 actually went into production in late 1945. And it only saw very limited use. And it only saw very limited use in World War II. So this is definitely like the most modern weapon available in this game for sure. And as far for the well rod, apparently it was designed in 1942. So from all the secondaries, this is the most modern one. Trust me, I looked at all the weapons. But again, correct me if I'm wrong. Now I'm gonna try my best to get some kills with the well rod as well. But don't expect much. At least the Mass 44 is really, really good. Now you would think the SDG 44 or something like the FG 42 would be the most modern weapons. But obviously, as you can hear by the name, that's not the case. Okay, I'm doing some work with the uh, Mass 44. Let's get in here. Yeah, I saw him, I saw him. Don't worry, I saw him. Oh! Get absolutely destroyed. I'm doing some work with the Mass 44. I already like this weapon. Oh, whoa! I need some health. I need some health. There's a guy right there. Well rod kill. Oh! At least I got a kill with the rail rod. Okay, let's get in this car. I said let's get in this car. I said let's get in this... Absolute moron, bro. I hope you get destroyed by that tank. That tank, I hope it destroys you. There you go. That's karma. Look at that. They have 500 tickets, pretty much. We have 10. There we go. Final couple of tickets. Can we get a roadkill on this guy, perhaps? Well, one second later, and we would have gotten a roadkill. Anyway, next Battlefield game. Okay, next Battlefield game. We now have arrived in the modern times. I looked around, and the oldest primary weapon in Battlefield 4 is the M60 light machine gun. This was designed in 19... Oh, I'm out of here. In 1954 or something like that. It's actually pretty old. Not that long after World War II, to be honest, which is pretty interesting. We are in a hardcore server, which could be a lot of fun, actually. Because I see a guy over there. Enemy killed. And he doesn't know where I shot from because there are no kill cams in hardcore. The M60 is such a cool looking LMG, gotta be honest. Get on top here. Okay, this should be safe enough. And yes, I know I'm playing a little bit like a camper, but hey, this is hardcore. There he is. I didn't kill him. There we go, got him. Got him, and I got him. Double kill, need to get the hell out of here. Oh, he's lagging as well. You know, I should probably go prone. Oh, it is actually so satisfying. Now, because of the no kill cam, I can have multiple... Oh, man, that is actually super satisfying in hardcore. Hardcore Battlefield 4 is amazing. There's another guy right there. Got him. Um, 
Okay, here we go. One shot to the head and he's dead. Got a lot of hardcore, bro. There's another guy right there. Ah, oh, it's... It, for some reason, because you don't get hit markers and you don't get a kill notification sound, it, it, for some reason, it's still extremely, extremely satisfying. Look at that. They don't even know where you're shooting from. I lost... Ah, oh, out of ammo. I am still one shot, basically, so... There we go, we got another one. This is such a good position. Look, another one. Amazing position. They don't know where I'm shooting from. Because there's no kill cam. Here, I saw another one all the way over there. Look, another one. Bye bye. I think I need to get up here. Would give me an awesome position. There's still a sniper, look at this sniper. One. Two. I'm gonna die any second now. I'm gonna die any second now. They only have to look at the ladder and then I'm dead. Please don't kill me, please. Whew. Okay, I'm still okay. I'm still good. I'm still good. I saw another one over there. There we go. Easy money. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I knew it. It was only a matter of time before I got killed. Anyway, that was the M60. Let's move up. Okay, so the M60 was the oldest gun in Battlefield 4. Now, the most modern gun in Battlefield 4 is this thing, the MPX. I looked at the uh, design date. It's 2013, and guess when this game launched? 2013. So, yeah, this is as modern as you can have in this game. Whoa, he's right here. And I killed him through the thing, I like that. Is there a way to get up there without using this ladder? Oh, damn! Why don't you die? Six health, I always have this BS. I always have it. Revive me, bro. You got it, thank you. Thank you so much. Look at this guy. Oh, again, another one of those. Again, man. <laughs> oh, and there, there again. Six counts of skill. We'll take this uh, AMR again, if you don't mind. That should have been a kill. That should have been a kill. That should have been a kill. There we go. That should have been a kill. That should have been a kill. That should have been a kill. I hear a suppressed sniper rifle. It is so quiet. Is team damage always like this in Battlefield 4? I don't remember it being like that. As soon as I turn around, he's there. I don't get this game. There he is. I know there's another one right there. Again! Again, I turn around and he's there all of a sudden. Does he have his secret uh, six spider sense that he knows when I turn around to look at this way? I don't get- Okay, so here we are in Battlefield 2042. And initially, I thought the AKS-74U would have been the oldest weapon in the game. But I checked and it was developed and designed somewhere in the 70s. But that's pretty old for Battlefield 2042. Then I saw the SVD, which was developed in the 50s. So I thought this surely must be the oldest gun in the game. And then this thing came along, the uh, lever action rifle, I forgot what it's called, but it's based on the Model 338, I believe, which was developed or designed in the late 1940s. So this is definitely the oldest gun in Battlefield 2042. Unfortunately, I really hate this gun. I would have much preferred to play with the SVD, but uh, it is what it is. Wait. There we go. We're also playing this new game mode called Control. Not really sure what it's about. I didn't really look at the... Uh... Wait, somebody's right there. And there, and there, and there. So I'm gonna try to play a little bit more passively with this gun. I mean, the sensitivity issues still persist in this game. So I'm not even gonna try to pretend I'm gonna be, you know, amazing or anything. Oh, I got a kill. Bro, 
Oh, this gun sucks! Somebody kill him! Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty satisfying. There's a guy right there. One. Two. Whoa! I really need to lead more. Die already! Thank you! What about you, buddy? It's a four-shot kill with armor! That's even more ridiculous! Tango, on my mark. Look at that! How much- I hit him more- I hit him three times! Die! Oh man, I don't like this gun one bit. Okay, and last but not least, we have the most modern gun in Battlefield. This is the Rorschach something something rail gun from Battlefield 2042. This is definitely the most futuristic gun in the game. Oh, it's actually pretty good. You saw that? Not too bad. Ooh. And this? The NVK P125 is definitely the most modern sidearm in the game. As you can see, it has a little bit of a wind-up time before you can shoot. The wind-up time for the full auto configuration isn't too bad, but it can make obviously the like a big difference like that. I couldn't shoot in time. I couldn't shoot in time even though I was aiming directly at him. We're going on the outskirts. We're gonna try to do some sniping. Ooh, yeah, that's satisfying. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Look at this bastard! No! Get absolutely destroy you, stupid SOB. Why would anybody use this gun? This is only good for, I would say, medium range. And with this thermal scope, it is actually pretty insane. Oh, and also, I can take out that helicopter with this thing. There we go. See, this is a good situation for this gun. Medium range, medium to far range. No! Look! Look at these guys! Look! They're just, they're just walking past each other! They're just walking past each other! Perfect way to end the video because this is just Battlefield 2042 in a nutshell for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more stuff like this, then drop a like below and leave a comment. You can also join the Discord. Link for that is down below. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.